Okay, in this problem we have two lines, J, K, so here's point J and K, that's a line, and L, M, that's also a line, they're parallel, and line N is a transversal, so here's N. Okay, and what do we want to know? What is the measure of angle 1? So find that angle, there it is, angle 1, and they give us a lot of other angles in here. Um, I guess what's a quick way of doing this? Well, I, I think it would be, it would make more sense, since this is an instructional video, to look at all the angles here, um, but we can just jump and also figure this out. Um, so we'll make the jump, I'll show you how I solve for angle one, and then we'll go through and figure out all the other angles, just for fun. So here's 135. Well, angle seven and 135 have to add up to 180 degrees, because they're on the same straight line, right? They're both on line N. So that means that angle 7 has to equal 55, 45 excuse me, degrees, because 45 plus 135 is 180. So now we're, we're actually done. Angle 7 equals 45 degrees. Angle 1 equals angle 7, and that's because they're alternate exterior angles, just meaning that they are, are on different sides of our transversal and they are on the outside of the parallel lines. So here are the inner angles, and four, seven, one, and five are exterior angles. So when you have alternate exterior angles, they have to be equal. So angle one equals 45 degrees, and if, if they make you explain that here, you could just say that, that they're alternate exterior angles and they're equal. But if you forget that, as I often do, you could just go through this by looking at vertical angles and corresponding angles, and you'll find out that this is true. So angle 4 equals 135 because it's a vertical angle with 135 degrees. So, okay, angle 3 and 7 are vertical angles, so they've got to be equal. And these four angles, 1, 2, 5, and 6, correspond to 3, 4, 135, and 7. So 5, angle 5, is in the same position as 135, so it also equals 135. Angle 2 is a vertical angle to angle 5, it's also 135. And angle 6 and 1 are 45 degrees as well because they're vertical angles. And just notice here that this angle is equal to this angle, they're corresponding. This angle equals angle 1, they're corresponding. Angle 5 equals 135 because they're corresponding, they're in the same position. And angle 45 and 7, I lost track here, this angle 6 and 7 are equal because they're corresponding. And all I mean to say is that at this intersection, the angle in the upper right corner will have to equal the angle in the upper right corner of this angle, right? And we proved this in another video, but corresponding angles are equal as well, and that's really helpful. Okay, thanks.